starters. Fuck the flies! Whoa! That get AC. What's up everybody, welcome back. Uh, the conditions have been super nice lately. I'm super jealous that everybody got to hit the water this weekend. I've been seeing a lot of people catch in their new uh, uh, Lua wetsuits. I'm super stoked. I see a lot of people using their new Omilu action camera dive mask. I'm super stoked guys. Thank you for your support. And yeah, like I said, I, I missed out this weekend. Like super nice conditions. Uh, I was actually at a family staycation this weekend just for a recoup and reset, you know, before the holidays and it was really nice, but now I, I still gotta take advantage of this conditions, man. The winds are down. I don't know how long they'll be down for, so I'm on my way to meet up with Captain Joe and then we're gonna go do some Apache fishing. Impachi fishing, maybe some for some tuals too. I got some Akubeli that I got from uh, Nick Morris. Check out his YouTube channel, Real Adventures Hawaii. Crazy stuff, crazy, crazy mental stuff, but yeah, good fun. Um, thank you for Akubeli. And I got some, like, some tips uh, from Roy Boy, 808 Roy Boy, because we've been getting a lot of misses. Oh, and actually, one other brother named uh, Kale Kwan about uh, trailer hooks, using trailer hooks on the live bait because we get a lot of hits but if I if I hook them in the front, they bite the back hook them in the back, they bite the front so it's so I tried this new well, I'm gonna try this new trailer hook Let's see how it goes man and hopefully get into some action tonight and if not, it was nice to be out on the water after spending the whole weekend with the fam and you guys out there so tonight's mission I wanted to bring this new gaff that me and Ryan Yap made out of a wooden dowel and a bent shaft that we turned into a big hook we never get them bloody yet so we'll see if tonight's the night we headed out the sun was setting trying to get to the spots set up just cruise on um, right before the sun goes down. So first thing we wanted to try get some towels, and we went to a spot where we know had. So immediately I put some aku belly and some ika on top of sabiki that I tied small hooks and want to try our luck. So I have these bait scissors, but it's. I like it a lot. The thing doesn't rust. It cuts really well. And it's super thick. So I'll throw the description uh, for not only the scissors, but for all the gear using like these killer pelagic shorts that I'm wearing. They're good for fishing. They get pocket holders for pliers and the uh, pockets get zippers too. So even better, the bugs don't fall out. We're trying to look for the towels. We kept running into taapes and every drop it was just tape after tape and the top is a evasive fish of Hawaii, so it's good that we just do our part and take them off the reef they're pretty good eats but we just like minpachi better so after this we just headed to the minpachi spots and got into some action right away the bite was kind of slow but it was steady and we pull up one here one there and there's nothing wrong with that just always good fun to get out and bring some fish home all right, less talking and more fishing. Let's get right into the action.
So a big old cooler that I foul hooked, we threw it as live bait with a trailer hook and it came back just shredded. It just missed the second trailer hook. See, I got one in the eyes and one in the back and man, I think it was just mangled. So I guess you can say that's a strike one, but we eat them later. I also got these Kahakai flies that just came in. I would, wanted to try them out um, from the, after we got a bunch of Mimpachi, uh, we wanted to go out into deeper water and go for some Okule because that's what the live bait hit. So we figured we'd go out for some Okule, some Halalu, drop the green light and see what happens. These uh, glow flies did really well. So I tied those up and then I grabbed some of these other flies that I just got, another local guy, um, Three Kings Flies is the company, and I like them a lot too. So we'll charge them up for the glow and drop them down, hopefully get some Okule. Right after I hooked that top, eh, uh, the live beat started going, so took in a drag and let's go. So another hit and another miss. Yeah, so the whatever hit this Okule just 
it hit it towards the face and it just missed the trailer hook I just you guys have any ideas <laughs> what you think that predator fish was that hit it it stuck around because I threw in another live bait and I hooked one in the in the face area and one in the probably like the end of the body and right when I dropped it it hit it again and it was just another miss or I'm pretty sure I didn't even have the Akuli left so even like the first one the first one was like super shredded my guess is a Barracuda eager to hear any of your guesses or based off experience or based off of just characteristics of the fish after it got hit to so give me a better idea on what I can do to you know land more game fish and I started to get late started to get pretty cold and just reel them up for one last akule before heading in Oh, bruh. Back at the harbor. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's gonna be a rough day after this, but... Uh, conditions were epic. I mean, it was super nice to water. The winds was down all night. But it was on the marks. But the fish just kind of weren't biting. But we did come home with some impachi, some okule, some taape. Three or four big strikes just missed the trailer hook every time but eh that's fishing right it's not always catching but either way good time with uncle joe we've been doing a lot of fishing lately i know you guys been wanting to see some dive videos so see how conditions are next weekend jump in and shoot some fish till then like subscribe and join us on our next venture shoot